Hi everyone, I'm Anastasia. I am Cortez. And I am Marius. And, and we, we are the Greeks. Because we are the Greeks. Important and day. It's an important day. Yes, it's here. It's yeah. here. Unexpectedly. Finally. And we were like, ah, we have to shoot the reaction. Yes. Just for context, basically, we were, um, we had just finished doing our videos for like our scheduled ones. And then Costis went out, saw that it was uploaded and we had a big like emergency call. Yes, exactly. Call. Yes. <laughs> because we have to be, we are the Greeks. We have to be the, Greeks. the first we ones. Be. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like, let's go, Greece. So, go. Uh, just for context, uh, for whoever is watching us for the first time, we are three Greeks living in the UK and we are reacting to Eurovision's videos. And um, we were waiting for the Greek video. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but we are so excited. Yes. So the artist is Victor Vernikos and the song is What They Say. And we had like listened to some like uh, dodgy, mm -hmm. like leaked um, part of the song, which was like super cryptic because we could not really make up much. So yeah. finally, the time has come. Mm -hmm. okay. We, we have to say that Victor is 16 years old. Okay. It's a child. Yes, I know. And this is a song that he wrote when he was 14. Can you believe that people were I doing know, that man. when they were 14 years old? I know. When I was 14, I was like, I don't know what I was doing. I was playing The Sims. <laughs> I was the playing Sims. The Sims. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah. I wasn't playing The Sims. I was playing nothing. I was actually just watching stuff. Internet yeah. was just a thing, so I was making. We were like definitely that. not as creative as Victor. So that's no. for sure. Victor is amazing. Well done, Victor. So, and I've heard then that this is a song about anxiety that mm -hmm. uh, someone can go through. That's okay. why it's called what they say, and it's very interesting to see how a creative fourteen year old years old is seeing is is going through anxiety because yeah, I remember. Like when I was um, a teenager, that I had some kind of anxiety, but I don't remember exactly how it feels, and it's mm. very interesting to to revisit that situation. Mm -hmm. Because to be honest, like of course, when it comes to anxiety or depression, they are like feelings that everybody can feel at any point, exactly at any moment. So because we have sometimes in our heads that okay, you're 14 years old, you cannot be feeling anxiety or depression. I know, um, I know. Uh, it's, it's that's not true, yeah. you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but without further ado, let's go and listen. Exactly. Ah, oh, but before we do that, people who are here for the first time or the second time or the third time, please press that subscribe button. Exactly. And, um, let's do it. Be part of this family that we are creating here. Let's do it. Subscribe. Subscribe, like, press yeah. the bell button, share yeah. it. Your friends. Do everything. Three, two, one, go. Late August. Feet start to shake. Heart starts to ache. Wow, very good voice. Yeah. I lay on the floor and I hate that I'm holding on. My... Very mature voice for his age. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Puberty has worked its magic in his voice. And I, the day to break my spirit. I like how it goes faster. Oh. You know what they say? Oh. The last souls oh. No one loses the way. I like the music video as well. Yeah, me too. I wasn't expecting this beat. I like it. Yeah, it's really good. I love this song. I hate my feelings. I am overwhelmed and heated. Can't say that I am longing for. It's a lovely song. I'm just a bit. I'm just like, oh, I feel like it's missing any Greek element. 
Yeah, it doesn't have Greek elements. It's really. very, yeah, which is fine. Wow, this is a good production for the video clip. Amazing production. Mm. And and the musical part, the production is mm. very well done. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well done, it's Victor. Really, really good. Yes, well done, Victor. He wrote this song when he was 14. I'm pretty yes. sure that the production is kind of redone. Uh, he's working with Panic Records, I can see. Yeah, of course. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. very big uh, record label in Greece, so mm. if not the biggest one. But it's such a good song, it's a beautiful song, and um, I love his voice, such a beautiful voice, such a deep voice, and very yeah. strong. But I do hear what you're saying, to say that, you know, probably something is like, you know, a bit, is missing a bit of the Greek part, but mm. at the same time, it's like, yeah, the, uh, the new generation of Greeks probably don't care. They, 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 I think they are, they have many influences from international art, like uh, music. Yeah, but I guess the way that I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No, no way. No um, it's just, I think for Eurovision, you have to send something with a bit of character. So mm -hmm. it makes it kind of stand out from other songs. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the reason why I'm saying there's not this kind of element is because it's another very, it's easy on the ear for everyone, mm -hmm. but it's memorable. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't mm -hmm. make it stand out. Yes. Yeah, that's what you mean. Like, there's nothing, like, um, there, not nothing. Like, there is not an uh, element that it will make it unique in terms, you know, in comparison with the other songs. Yeah. I, understand yeah. that. I, I agree with that. There's a competition. Uh, yeah. Uh, but it's a very nice song. I don't, I, I feel it will definitely qualify to the final. Yeah. Uh, don't know how well it will do. It will depend with other songs are in the finals. Like it's gonna be interesting to see. Like, is he gonna go like with other performance on the stage? It's gonna be just by himself. Is gonna something very different? interesting. Mm -hmm. But I heard that uh, the this year they are changing the director of the Eurovision stage. Usually, it's Focas Evangelinos. This year it's gonna be Constantinos Rigos, uh, who is um. A very, very big um, uh, director in Greece who also does like physical performances and um, n not so commercial ones. They are more, he has done some commercial things on TV as well, like uh, shows, but uh, he's usually well known in the theater industry in Greece as um, more contemporary with not so commercial ideas, more it, like it, art. The ballet director from the Greek National. Oh, maybe, okay. maybe he's as well, I don't know, but he used to have like a, a, his own company and they were doing many physical theater pieces. And mm. so I, I am pretty sure like with his name in the direction that they're not gonna do something conventional. It's gonna be something interesting. It's gonna be something, um, I ho hopefully, hopefully, because sometimes it's Eurovision and it's the national broadcaster. So mm. sometimes the director try to please their bosses, you know. So yeah. it has to be something that the national broadcaster is okay with. So we'll see. But I hope I have high hopes with this name in the direction that he will do something very interesting. I trust you that you trust him. Also, Fogasa Vangelinos is a very important name in Eurovision. Yeah, the previous director. Yeah, he's a very yeah. important name in Eurovision. But I think that we needed this change because Fogasa yes. Vangelinos has, has directed a lot of yeah. the Greeks. Um, the and not only the Greeks. Um, no. only, yeah. He has done uh, uh, for, for Russia, for Ukraine, if I'm not mistaken, he has done many, like he has directed many Eurovision acts for many countries. Yeah. But I think it's time for a change. It's good, it's good a change. to change and it's yeah. good to have new ideas, you know? Mm. Like, yeah, I, think, yeah, I agree. I, agree. Yeah. I yeah. think Constantinos Rigos will bring something new to the table. 
uh, and that he will make something that uh, will support um, Victor. Imagine being oh, yeah. and performing in front of so many people. Yeah, I so know, at 16. Terrifying. Um, it must be terrifying. Or yeah. sometimes when you're young, you don't have the... You, it's you don't the have unknown. the fear. Yeah, you don't have the fear mm. because it's the unknown. Guys, and... I, I'm going to dispute that. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna dispute that as well. I'm gonna dispute that. When you're he's 16, he's not like 10. He definitely has. He definitely knows what to be. What the struggle, not the struggle, but like the anxiety of going on stage. I get this kind of feeling from him because I've seen him talking in interviews in Greece. Mm -hmm. I get this feeling that he is very confident, which is great, and he needs that confidence for Eurovision. But I'm I'm a bit scared because he will go on stage and he will find he will be surprised because he will realize how big this is really i don't know if he's realizing right now and if he can understand how he's going that's exactly what i mean that's what exactly what i meant because to me is like you of course you, you he's 16 but you can definitely you cannot just go to your vision go on stage or even like for the rehearsals and not feel what's happening but I think he will understand it where he will go there. I don't think he, he has an understanding of how big the audience is there in the actual arena and then how many millions are going to be watching him. Like it's yes, a, of yes, of course, of course. But imagine that's, that, that, that's even hard for me to, uh, to, to, to realize. Yeah, exactly. So, so, of course, it will be hard for him too. But, but like once you are there and you are in the space... I think he will he will he will get he will yeah. get it. So I don't think so that for me it's like it's not that he's gonna go through the performance and he's gonna be like eh. like yeah, I no, I, no. I still think that he's gonna it's gonna hit him at some point. Yeah, maybe. I hope yeah. it hits him after and not during the performance. During. Yes, you know? I know, I know, I know. Me too, me too, really. Me too. But we love the song. So nice. It's a nice song. It's a very nice song. And good yeah. luck, Victor. Good luck. Good luck, Victor. And yes. And guys, let us know what you think. Do you like the Greek entry? Um, uh, what do you feel? Like, is it going to qualify? Is it going to do yes. well? Is it going to be... Hopefully it will. It will. It will. It will. It will. Subscribe to our channel. Like the video. Yeah. Uh, and... Like, subscribe, share. Yeah. Do like click the bell icon and nah, 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 nah. you know the, the you know now the point exactly and the greek people that are now discovering us all of you subscribe support support us <laughs> <laughs> and see very you very soon at another very video soon, bye, bye.